can I talk too much sometimes? Hello? This time on Crash Test Dummy TV. <laughs> It is time I have to do the fork seals. This this whole look of rags wrapped around your forks just to catch the oil, it doesn't look good, doesn't suit the bike. So I've decided I'm gonna fix it instead. Now I'm gonna have to make lots of tea. Now, same as most forks out there, the get that out of the way. <coughs> the Z forks, if you look at that and you look at the XT, and you look at the uh, GPZ, and the SR500 will be the same, and the F650 will be the same, uh, the trail bikes won't because they're upside down forks, but they're all pretty much exactly the same. All the same construction. They work by, inside here, uh, basically the fork tube, or the st staunchion, as they call them, uh, has a base to it, and then a cap and a cover and all that sort of thing. Blah, 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 blah. But then it has a spring, and that's basically it. It sits on a spring. Now the oil inside at the whole shocker regulates how fast it goes up and down. The flow rate. Because it's an oil, it's thick, and it slows down the flows. So as it's going down, it's flowing through slowly. That's pretty much it. All forks are the same. Upside down forks, they work on the same principle, but they're upside down. And usually they're thicker in their body and all that sort of thing. Now, I have got to do these. Uh, the way to disassemble, disassemble most, if not almost all bikes uh, on the staunchions, they are clamped here and here on what's called the triple clamps. Uh, on the bottom, you'll have some sort of uh, fork steady, uh, whether it's part of the uh, guard or if it's a separate thing like I've made, um, it'll be a fork steady. It has to hold the forks from wobbling that way and twisting. Uh, so yeah, they've got to come off, these have got to come loose, um, that there is just a pressure stabiliser, it's just a tube in between, and it holds the air, you know, for both, same pressure. Uh, that will slide up and down, so uh, that'll come off easy. The wheel definitely has to come off, so axle, uh, and the caliper is obviously got to come off to swing away and just stay somewhere while you're doing the job. But the rest of the bike, as you can see, I've got it jacked up off the ground with two jacks, or you could do one jack, one jack up one side, um, probably this outside, uh, block it up with, well, actually block it up with wood while it's on the side stand, uh, get it as high as you can. Then when you jack up the other side, it should lift the front and balance out the bike before it uh, comes too far. Should, won't say it will. Uh, but yeah, you can do it that way, and you can always um, jack it up a little bit further here and put an extra block or whichever in. But you do want to make it as stable as possible. I uh, don't know if I've got the image nearby, but if you remember this board, if I've got the image, otherwise, picture in your mind a plank of wood, you know, yay wide, from left to right. You put it under your wheel, front or rear. It's got two little hooks on it and your tyre cable to the bike or up and over the bike. So basically what that's doing is stopping the bike from doing the tilt um, by its own, or if you bump it or something like that. It won't, depending on how you tie it, whether or not it will hold it. Um, yeah, but wherever you do it, you've obviously got to be able to jack up. I was thinking about doing it under the jacks and use the jacks as weight to hold that board down to give it that triangle holding. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and I'm going to pull this two bits, starting with caliper, front wheel, guard, then loosen off uh, the fork, uh, triple, tre uh, uh, triple trees, and then drop fork out one by one. I might do them both at the same time, but certainly pull them out one by one. Cool. So in that order, caliper, wheel, loosen everything else, take off your guard. Groovy. Next step. 
All right, model specific. Um, first things first, you want to take your bolt that holds or clamps on the uh, axle. Next, you want to take the caliper off just to make the brake drop, I mean the wheel drop away from the brake nice and easily. And also, <coughs> model specific, you need an 8mm to take this, this off. Now I've loosened these off, that's why they're loose. Just to make it easier for the video. Now what I do, if you put your bolts back in the spot they live, you won't lose them. Groovy. Now, axle can come off. Alright, now you're free to loosen triple clamps. Don't get too far back on the top ones yet. Just break them a little, just because you don't want it to drop on you. Alright, see it drop down a little. <laughs> Now that I've got a hold of it, now sometimes you have to pry these apart a little, but sometimes you don't. And in this case, we don't. Now, these particular ones, there'll be a split ring. Got to take that off before you slide it through. Don't lose it. These are VMAX forks, VMAX triple clamps, Barago pin with a gudgeon pin just there. And where the standard weld is, I just ground that off pounded it out, pounded it back in, and then grub screw. That's how it's held on. And I did it with a vise in the garage, and a mash hammer, and a grinder. That's it. All right, one fork, two forks. Cool. Now that it's all apart, I hope to hell that the bike doesn't fall over. And now it's time to rebuild our forks. Cool. Alright, now we've got our, uh, all our bits together, our oil, our forks, everything's for the next phase. So, next phase, but I might snip to this other video, if I do, because, eh, they're all the same, so I'll explain it in that one. But I might video this one too, just to waste more of my uh, data storage. Cool. All right, continuing on with the fork seal rebuild, I have already done one fork. I wanted to go through and just check and just have a look and see if there are any things to point out to you. Uh, there are a couple of things. Uh, one particular thing that I actually left out, so I had to pull it all to bits, put it back in, then put it back together. So anyway, I'm going to do one. <coughs> Excuse me. In real time, I have it off the off the bike. Obviously, to get it off the bike, you got to take your split ring off uh, so you can slide it through and it's ready to go oil is still in it now you don't have to do it in this order but obviously there is an order to everything now what I'm going to do is on the other one I loosened off the top first but I'm going to loosen off the bottom when I find the tools All right. had to get a long one now one little trick, shock it open, 
try and hold it so it's not going to jump or anything. Grab the whole shock, and now you notice the battery there. That's just so it can uh, hang off the uh, hang off the bench a little bit. Watch your fingers, of course. Come on, just want to hold it stable. That's useless. All right, round twenty. Ow, come on. Problem with this is it's spinning the whole inner. The other one was a lot easier. I might pop the other end first, see if it makes a difference. Now I had to make a special tool just to open the end. Now you really don't want to scratch the tube. If you are going to scratch it, scratch it up the top, not the bottom. Basically, before, I didn't tighten the vise up too much until I knew the tube wasn't spinning. And I talk too much sometimes. Now, yeah, one thing you do want to do, because this one will pop off and it is going to leak as soon as I pop that off. Best do it on the ground. Let's see how I did it before. Hold the rag, hold the spanner, hold the nut, spin the tube. And it will go pop. There we go. Didn't go pop much, but just enough. Alright, there's our cap. There's our spacer. Oh, that wasn't in the other one. There wasn't one of those in the other one. Oh, bugger. I've got to pull that apart. Yeah, I'm going to have to pull that apart again. Damn it. I did put the... Uh, Oh, that's right. Rule in this, don't pull it out too fast. <laughs> Last one I pulled out. Each drip dripped on the next spring and then spat out, so it made a mess. So pull it out nice and slow, let it dribble down by itself. Pop it in your tub. Shouldn't be anything and that should be fully depressed. Depressed, so depressed. And get rid of your oil. Ugh, yuck, look at that. Horrid. Now what I did do with the other one, the oil that I poured out, because the other one was not leaking, this is the leaking one. So the oil that I poured out, I actually put into a container and uh, just measured the amount that came out compared to what's going in. Just to see if there's any difference. And there was. Right, get your little split ring out. It sits in a uh, channel on the inside, just above the seal, and now uh, the seal can't go past it, obviously. So, ah, come on! Once it's out, I'll show you its sh its shape, and then you'll understand a bit more. Come on, already! Never said it won't take convincing. There we go. Alright, that's the shape there. So those little uh, bends, that's where you put your screwdriver in. When you're putting it back on to push it in its channel, you put it on the outside of those bends and lever against the uh, side of the tube and it'll push it in the channel. So a little thing for you. Now we have to get that bottom off. So what I might do is let it drain for a little bit and I will come back to it. Alright, I'm going to find my tools, leave it to drain, stop recording, have a mental think about this. 
I might have to pop the cap and see if it's there. And I'll come back to you later. Cool. There it is. I didn't put it in. I do have to take it apart. Wah, 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 wah. Very important. Try and keep all your things in the one tub. That landed next to it, and I didn't see it. But the tub was empty when I put that back together, so I figured everything was there. Not. Cool. All right. Let's go to phase three. <laughs> back in a bit. I swear that's just spinning on the inside. Yep, just fell out. Good. Make sure you get the washer with it. Alright, this is the easy bit. This is how you get your seal out. Make sure all the oil's out first though. There. That's the bit that was spinning. And the wedge is in there somewhere. It's on the bottom, bottom of this. Silly me. Alright. Well done. That's your seal out. Slide it up and over and have a look how crap it is. Yeah. Clean your parts. Even just wiping is better than uh, not. Let's let that drain a little bit. Oh, you get. Where'd you go? That's the wedge. Can't forget that wedge. I forgot it last time. <laughs> Now I've got my fingernail right in that channel where that little uh, wire bit goes in just because it needed it. So try and get into that channel with rag, fingernail, something like that. There was a bit of rust in there I think, one of the tubes because of the spring. Yeah, it's a lot cleaner. Get all that gritty crap out of there. You can wash these out properly entirely up to you but make sure you get rid of all the water afterwards you don't want any in there leave them for a day or so upside down draining if anything I'm just giving this a wipe just to get rid of all the grit if there's any there now make sure it goes back together properly this little wedge I did not put there before I put it together. Silly me. Drop your tube in. And that should be against the wedge. Doesn't matter if you get oil on these things because they need lubrication. Alright, drop that in. Get your seal. Still doesn't matter if you've got greasy fingers because you want a bit of uh, grease uh, oil in this. I want it to slip and seal. All right. Helps on the lips too. Now there are different tricks, techniques to get these on. A bit of glad wrap over the top, etc. I just really hope they seal because they're non-genuine. Now, my little trick with the PVC pipe worked before as well. All I had to do was crimp it in to the right size to begin with and then the tube held it in as it went deeper. You want to 
opposing sides. It should be able to relax on that now. You will feel sort of the difference in the thud. But another way, let's have a look and see where that channel is. Yeah, it looks good. Groovy. Clean your bit of wire. and craps off it. Work in one side and then get to the other in a coil type motion. And just push it down into place as best you can. And then those little wavy bits, you'll see what I mean. I know you can't see them, I'm sorry, but you want to use the tube to lever it in just to make sure they're in that channel and work around do each one. Just watching you don't damage the uh, seal, the new seal you've just put in. Oh, that's cool. Bolt underneath. Again, another tricky bit. Try that spring again. Yeah, that's done it. Alright, now to tighten that, give it a whack. Now with the other one, I did put it in the vice later and gave it a whack in there, vicing it on those bits. So you might want to do that. But for now, just to get it together, I'll leave it as is. Now, fluid. Also, don't forget that. Um, yeah, fluid. Now, what I did was, with the other one, I measured out two lots. Uh, so as I filled up the other one, I did the same amount for the other. Just to make it easier for now. I am using seven and a half weight, and then topping up with five weight. I read quite a few posts, ranging from five to twenty weight. So, da da da. But measurement from the top, five and a half inches. Couldn't find metric. Sorry. Now that should be roughly about there, I think. No, it was further. Was it seven? Yeah, it was around seven. Probably six and a half. Now just went glug glug from here with the other one. Alright, I can lose about half an inch. Very little bit. I should have pumped that through first, getting rid of all the air bubbles.
measurement is always taken fully compressed as well. Just touching. Bang on. Couldn't be better than that. But well, you could be. All right, seal is on. Don't uh, ring is on. Don't forget your dust cap, but I want to clean that first. I'll pop all this back together, not forgetting the ring that's sitting on top. Because I forgot that last time. Good on me. Tube sits on top of ring. Now you may be cursing and thinking, oh, you're not cleaning anything. I'm going to give this a pull down and a uh, check over in a couple of months and redo the oil and everything. So, noony, noony, noony. Now, what I did find with this nut on top, so it didn't hurt your wrist so much, put a rag on it. Now, push up on the tube and down on the nut and try and turn the tube. Didn't say it was easy. Oh, there we go. You just got to get that right spot. Right. Save that last bit for in the vice. Okay, this is a good enough time. Put the dust seal in there. We each need to clean first. I am feeling quite a bit of gritty stuff. Sand or whatever dirt that got past the seals, so I think I may want to change these seals for more rubbery ones next time. Probably genuine uh, fork seals would be better too. Anyway, that just goes over the top, and obviously self-explanatory. And realistically, they shouldn't be that hard, as far as rock hard, putting them in there. That's not a good thing. Alright, now I've got to tighten everything up. There's my rag. Wrong way. Plenty. If it's not plenty, put your comments in the comments. Down the bottom. Down there. I'm sure we all want to listen. God, these are soaking in oil. Look. Now, don't just go and compress these because, because they have balancing pipes. As I did before, it'll come spewing out the top. At that hole. So don't just go pushing them up and down and certainly watch it when they're upside down. You don't want to put them upside down. Cool. And that's the job done. Groovy. All right. Oops. Putting it back together. 
is the same as how I took it apart, but in the opposite direction. So I'll leave that for you, and I'll do it myself. Get in there. Where's that ring? Where's the ring? Alright, I've got to find some parts. But you all ride safe out there. And I hope your project's going better than mine is because I can't find the ring. I feel like a groom at the altar. Can't find the ring. Anyway, I'll find the ring. Bye all. big Allen key. Now I am in no means an expert so if you know I'm doing wrong hey point it out in the comments. <coughs> yeah try not to do that. It's not advisable. I'll put that there and hopefully it doesn't fall off a lot. 